Welcome to Money and Business Avenue. My name is Mutawi Dan Bosco. Today we are diving into chapter 9 of the Rich Dad Poor Dad. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share and like. Let's go straight to chapter 9. Under this chapter, Robert Kiyosaki outlines 10 steps as a process that one can take to awaken their financial genius. Besides having a reason greater than reality, carefully choosing friends, mastering a formula and learning a new one, paying yourself first, being an Indian giver and many others. Why is that if one pays keen attention to this to succeed financially? Let's see them in depth one by one. The 10 steps as a process to awaken your financial genius. 1. I need a reason greater than reality. Your reason of wanting to become rich must be stronger than reality. Reality with becoming rich is that the journey is hard and full of hurdles. What keeps you going? are the strong emotional reasons at the back of your mind. These will always push you forward. Reasons involve the I don't want and the wants. The I don't want give birth to the wants. For example, the I don't want that pushed Robert Kiyosaki to fight and become rich are that he never wanted to work all his life, never wanted what his parents aspired for, which was job security and a house in the suburbs. Let it it when his dad worked hard all his life and the government took most of what he had worked for at his death and others. He could not even pass on what he had worked so hard for when he died. The rich don't do that. They work hard and pass it out to their children. And then his wants were that he wanted to be free to travel the world and live in a life he loved and wanted to achieve this at a young age wanted to simply be free wanted to have control over his time and life and finally he wanted money to work for him without a strong reason or purpose the journey to becoming rich will prove very hard to you just as Kiyosaki put it that without a strong reason or purpose anything in life is hard the only weapon to push through the hardships met along the journey of making money is the emotional reasons at the back of your mind that must be strong than the reality Number 2 I choose daily the power of choice we want the power to choose you have the power to choose whether to be rich poor or middle class Robert Kiyosaki said that that is a choice we all make daily the choice of what we do with our time our money and what we put in our heads that is the power of choice all of us have a choice i just choose to be rich i make that choice every day how you spend the money you get where and what you invest your time in determines what you become you have control on who you become depending on your behavior robert kiyosaki recommends investing in your mind through education by books about investing financial literacy and read before you go for any investment equip yourself with knowledge first on investment spending and how to make money if you want to be rich go for seminars and listen to tapes other than keeping on tv watching soaps all the time according to yosak 90% of the population buys tv sets and only about 10% buy books on business or tapes on investment where do you fall Number three, choose friends carefully. When it comes to choosing friends, some precaution has got to be taken. Learn from both the poor and the rich friends. They are both important. The problem with the poor, they are not interested in the subject of money and investment. They don't discuss such a crucial subject. Most of them no wonder when they have rich friends, all they ask from them is a loan and a job, but not how they accumulated wealth. There is also a very dangerous group of people who are talking This kind of people only focus on the negative outcome of any attempt. All they do is to discourage others. They only focus on the impossibility part of any initiative. They never look at the positive side of the coin. Such people must be avoided. Number 4. Master a formula and then learn a new one. When it comes to making money, there are known formulas. The commonest one is getting a job and this applies to the poor. There is a need to learn and master the formula 
formula of making money but also key learning new formula that suit the prevailing circumstances. Robert Kiyosaki said that he always search for a faster formula. That is why on a fairly regular basis, I make more money in a day than many people will make in their lifetime. You must always look for a faster formula to beat your competitors. Kiyosaki also said that in today's fast changing world, it's not much what you know that counts. Because often what you know is old. It is how fast you learn. The skill is priceless. It is priceless in finding faster formula recipes. If you will for making daff, working hard for money is an old formula born in the day of cavemen. Working smart is the way to go. Number five, pay yourself fast. This is all about the power of self-discipline. The ability to get control of yourself. Robert Kiyosaki put it that if you cannot get control of yourself, you don't try to get rich. Paying yourself fast means investing in your asset come before paying bills. Channel your money into buying assets before thinking about paying bills. The pressure created by paying bills should only inspire you to look for more channels of getting money in order to pay them. This in the end increases your income and improves your financial intelligence. How else do you deal with bills? Robert Kiyosaki suggests two ways. A. Don't get into large debt positions that you have to pay for. Keep your expenses low, build up your assets fast, then buy the big house or nice car. Being stuck in the rat race is not intelligent. When you come up short, let the pressure build and don't dip into your savings or investments. Use the pressure to inspire your financial genius to come up with new ways of making more money and then pay your bills. You will have increased your bid to make money as well as your financial intelligence. Number six, pay your brokers well. Brokers save time as well as making you money. They are simply your eyes and ears to the market and always keep there and saving your precious time. They provide you with information that guides your decisions and in the end get a lot of money from their efforts. So it is very vital to pay them well and keep them. Robert Kiyosaki advice is that find a broker who has your best interest at heart. Many brokers will spend the time educating you and they could be the best assets you could find. Just be fair and most of them will be fair to you. If all you can think about is cutting their commissions, then why should they work to be around you? It is just simple logic. As I said earlier, quoting Robert Kiyosaki, one of the management skills is the management of people. Many people only manage people they feel smarter than and they have power over, such as subordinates in work situation. Many middle managers, many middle managers, failing to get promoted because they know how to work with people below them but not with the people above them. The real skill is to manage the people and pay well the people who are smarter than you in the same technical area. That is why companies have a board of directors. You should have one too and that is financial intelligence. Number seven, be an Indian giver. The phrase according to Kiyosaki means the power of getting something for nothing. On every one of my investments, I quote, there must be an upside or something for free. A condominium a mini storage, a piece of free land, a house, stock shares, office building, and these must be limited risk or a low risk idea. There are books devoted entirely to this subject that I will not get into here. Ray Kroc of McDonald's fame sold hamburger franchise not because he loved hamburger but because he wanted the real estate under the franchise for free. So wise investors must look at more than return on investment. It is the assets you get for free once you get your money back. That is financial intelligence. Number eight, assets buy luxuries. The biggest mistake we commit is focusing on the liability column other than the asset column when we want to buy a luxury. We focus on borrowing money to get the things we want instead of focusing on creating money. We should think of making money using money to use for buying what we want. We must have made the money we spend on luxuries using money available. You also support see that. If your financial intelligence is low, money will run all over you. It will be smarter than you. If money is smarter than you, you will work for it all your life. To be the master of money, you need to be smarter than it. Then money will do as it is told. It will obey you. Instead of being a slave to it, you will be the master of it. That is financial intelligence. Number nine, the need for heroes. Who are you looking up to? Who inspires you? You must have someone that you admire and aspire to be like. You must 
equally invest in knowing everything about them, know their biography, behavior, how much they earn and so on, so you behave the way they do or used to do. Heroes inspire us to do more and be like them. They also make things look easy and it's the making it look easy that convinces us to work to be just like them. If they can do it, so I can. When it comes to investing, too many people make it sound hard. Instead, find heroes who make it easy. Number 10. Teach and you shall receive. If I could leave one single idea with you, Robert Kiyosaki says, it is that idea. Whenever you feel short or in need of something, give what you want first and it will come back in bucks. This is true for money. A smile, love, friendship. This is true for money. A smile, love, friendship. I know it is often the last thing a person may want to do, but it has always worked for me. I just trust the principle of reciprocity. It is true. And I give what I want. I want money, so I give money. And it comes back and multiples. I want sales, so I help someone else. Sell something and sales come to me. I want contacts, I help someone else get contacts. And like magic, contacts come to me. I heard a saying years ago that, that when God does not need to receive, but humans need to receive. So you give and then you get. That is it for today. My name is Mutawi Dan Bosco. Don't forget to subscribe comment share let's meet in another episode god bless you